The drama in Downing Street may be a hundred miles from Stroud, but the noise is just as loud. <laughs> Trying to make sense of today's turbulence in Westminster, market seller Andy is losing faith. Do you have confidence in the current government? Well, no, really. I mean, they seem to be going from one extreme to another. No long-term policies, really. It all seems to be knee-jerk stuff. And uh, what we need is long-term policies that have got, hopefully, sort things out. Sorting things out is the aim of the PM's latest move, but we couldn't find many in this marginal seat who think it'll work. The Prime Minister sacked her Chancellor in the has last she? Has she this afternoon? <laughs> I, I don't know what to make of it. It's ridiculous. It was, I used to be a member, a member of the Tory party, but um, I'm not now. But they voted for her. They voted for her, but the MPs didn't. They shouldn't have had her. The sooner they get rid of her, the better. I, I think she's dealt with it pretty, um, pretty badly, actually, in the last uh, few weeks. Few, when, when did she, when, how long has she been in? Two weeks? <laughs> I think, I think she, they've done too much wrong and it's too she late to put it right. started off too bad, yeah. yeah. She started off on a... Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And now she's just doing everything to try and compensate that, but what will it's happen, not then? like... I personally think there should be a general election. Cabinet changes and U-turns to try and calm the markets are one thing, but at the end of the day, the real test may well come in marginal seats like this, and the question is whether or not the damage is already done. It's also the case that global economic conditions are worsening. The Stroud bookshop, Barbara's digesting the Prime Minister's words. Well, I just think the whole thing's a shambles. And it cannot be good for any business because we're becoming a laughing stock. She's trashing the economy. I think that this will be lost unless there's an absolute turnaround. I think this will be lost to Labour, presumably. I'm afraid I'm... I just think a period in opposition might do them good. The PM says she's determined to see it through. The coming days and hours will reveal whether the damage could be repaired. Dan Whitehead, Sky News in Stroud.